Hey hi welcome welcome to the BSAT MSAT question and answer series myself guru and uh, today we are going to see the topic from BSAT question paper that is what is a property and explain how read only property is achieved so today we are going to talk about a property in C sharp and we will also see how read only property is been achieved so this was the same question was asked in October 2010 for 6 marks so it is very important question in terms of exam point of view you know because it it, uh, it carries 6 marks so if you have any queries or any doubts regarding this session you know feel free to mail me on gurumatrix2004 at the rate gmail.com for more information on .NET, .NET videos, you know, or BSCIT, MSCIT videos, you can visit our site that is www.questpond.com. So, so let's start our session. So, my friends, let me just open up my notepad and let me just say property in C sharp. Okay. As a one line definition, you know, properties are members of the class and they provide a flexible way to achieve read or write the values from the class. So, for example, if you want to write anything inside the class, then you need a property, or if you want to read anything from the class, then you need a property because properties are exposed publicly. So, if I say properties are expo exposed publicly, then I mean to say that we need to use a public access modifier you know at the start to declare a property so now let me just show you the syntax of a property in a simple way so for that let me just declare a simple class called uh, employee and I will show you you know uh, how to declare a property class employee and now I'm going to declare a simple property before that let me just declare a private variable because that variable I'm going to use uh, inside my property I will show you how let me just declare the uh, private variable yeah, employee code and now I'm going to declare a property so as I told you that properties are exposed publicly so I'm I'm uh, I'm using my access modifier as public followed by data type which data type of property I want so I want uh, integer data type so I will use my integer data type followed by property name the scope of uh, property okay so as you see you know I have declared a property uh, integer type property called employee code now inside the property scope I am going to declare a two accessor that is get and set let me just show you set I will say set the outside value whatever value coming from the outside set that value to my employee code a private variable and get accessor to retrieve the value or let's say to read the value so I will say return code so employee code so get and set accessor you know are basically used inside the property you know for getting and setting the values so set basically if you want to write any value to the property then we use set accessor and if you want to retrieve the value from the property then then we use get accessor so get and set accessor are basically for use for reading and writing the values so 
if you want to write a value to the property then set accessor must be present inside the property or if you want to retrieve the value from the property then get accessor must be present inside the property inside the property scope so a property let's say if i remove this you know a property without get what it is called it is called as you know it is called as write only property or let me do vice versa now if i remove set you know if i remove set accessor from the property then a property a property employee code is called as read only property so means i cannot write any value to this property employee code i only read the value from the employee code so if you if uh, if you want to achieve read only property or write only property you know so depending upon the set and get accessor you know you can achieve that you know so so as i told you a property without set set accessor it is called as read only property a property without get accessor it is called as write only property so this is how you know we can achieve read or write only property inside the class so now so that you have understood what is a property and what is read only property you know how it is achieved now let's see a simple example you know on this by using our console application and uh, we will see we will use a class and we will create a property and we will see how the read only property works how the read only property is been is achieved no let's see a simple example on that so for that let me just open up my visual studio 2010 and uh, i'm going to create my console application project okay now i'm going to create my console application so so for that you know i'm going to my file new project i will say project and uh, so here i'm going to select my console application friends as you can see that my my language type is visual c sharp and my dot net framework is 4.0 so let me just give a nice name here in my name column so finally i said okay so visual studio is creating a console app console application environment here we go so the project has been created successfully with some default libraries and with a nice namespace properties uh, and with a class program which is having a static void main method so now i am going to create a simple class so for a time being you know i have already coded that class let me just show you see my friends this is my simple class employee with a private variables called employee code employee name and company name and uh, this is my first property which is having set and get accessor both so it means i can write the values to the employee code or i can read the values to the employee code from the employee code so this is my first property of integer type so remember you know whenever you declare a data type you know integer or string or double or anything you know the return type has to be same so as you can see you know my employee code return type is is of the same data type that is integer so return type has to be same so this is my first property employee code with integer data type and below that i have another property that is employee name with the with again you know 
to accessor that is set and get accessor it means i can write the values to the employee name or i can read or i can read the value of from the employee name so now coming here you know to the company name as you can see that here i have only one accessor that is get so it means as i told you, you know as i told you that if a property is having let me just show you that oh, okay here if a property is having set accessor you know let's say if a property is having i'm sorry if a property is having only the set accessor then we can only write the values to the property we cannot read the re we cannot read any value from that property so it is called as you know a property is called as write only property now this type of property is called as write only property now let me add a get now and let me remove this set so as i told you you know a property with with only get accessor you know is called as read only property okay that's what today's session is about you know read only property so a property which is having only the get accessor is called as read only property it means we can only read the value from the property we cannot write anything to the property so read only property can be achieved through the using of get accessor so so this property you know a company name with string data type okay having only one accessor that is get accessor so it means this property is called as read only property so now what i will do so what i will do you know i will create a uh, object of a class and uh, that is obj emp equal to new employee now i will try to write the value to the property called company name let's see what happens you know whether it it takes the value or not let's see uh, i will try to write a value to my company company name which is only read only property let's see what happens okay okay my friends as you can see the error you know as you can see the error the property of the indexer you know cannot be assigned because it is only read only property as you can see it is read only at the end you know so it is confirmed that this property is called as read only property now let me show you the output now let use that other two properties also let's say obj emp dot employee code is equal to 9 obj employee name is respond private limited and uh, let me remove this part so now let me just display the value before that let me just change the employee name to let's say guru and uh, let me show you the output by using the console application console dot right line i'm sorry console dot right line employee name and employee code
so now in the next line I am going to display a company name so employee guru with the employee code 9 and he is employee of company or firm okay I am done so let me just show you the output of this so as you can see that the output is employee name and the employee code is guru comma 9 and of company correspond an IT technology firm because my private variable company name is having a value called correspond an IT technology firm so this is just a simple example you know to achieve read only property so this is how we have achieved read only property and we have also understood what is a property you know so this was the same question was asked in October 2010 so in terms of exam point of view you know it is very important question because uh, it carries six marks so it is very important question if you have any queries or any doubts you know regarding this session or topic feel free to mail me on gurumatrix2004 at the rate gmail.com so my friends so my BSAT MSAT friends thank you very much have a nice day bye